guys welcome to another video for the engineer in the last video we have discussed on the Linux commands and that was uh, I've given all the very basic commands to everyone I hope that is helpful to each of you so today we are going to just continue that video there are some other commands that you should know okay and in case you you know like whatever uh, commands that we have covered in the very first class apart from that today we will be discussing primarily on the network commands and also there are some process related commands that we are going to discuss so as I already discussed we always need to log in as SID ADM and from there you can go to root but here as I have the root access already so I'll just uh, I no need to worry so I can just switch to SID ADM so <coughs> whenever I want to see the processes like how many what are the processes running uh, you know in my host from the SID ADM you can also check from the SID ADM also can check from the root so if you check from the root and your database and application both are installed on the same host you can see all the processes in that so as I have login from PS I know RDBK ADM so I'll just you know do this command so you can see all the process related to SID ADM so similarly if I will run this one PS hyphen EF okay and just type enter I'm here in the root so it will be showing me all the processes including root including aura including your SID ADM whatever the processes are there that will be visible here all the processes that you can see from the Oracle also from the root from the SID ADM so you need to check which process is relevant to you and accordingly you can take the action so this is about your PS command PS hyphen EF and also so the next thing is your what what if if I want to search a file suppose you want to search something that you want to search uh, a file or you can you want to search some information from a file so for that we always use the grep command as well so if you want to uh, search anything just let me go here to the CD Pro and I want to search something that I want to search R disk or I want to see the work process parameters so you can say I use a grep functionality to search from a file and from which file I will searching I will be searching from the instance profile so if I just go to the instance profile and I'll search it here so you can see the resources which is defined for me I have nine dialog work process so similarly for any file or anything that you want to search you can use the grep command so that will be helping you also along with that suppose you want to see the content of a file starting or ending so if you want to see the all content of a file you can use the cat command suppose I want to see the CP SAP CP log which is part of your kernel upgrade so you can see all the contents are there all right so suppose I want to see the last 10 lines of this file so I can just use tail hyphen 10 and the file name so this will give you the information about only the last 10 line it will be showing you so any file any log file that you want to check you want to read it so that this makes us flexible to read whatever is required not the entire content so these are the uh, commands that you know grape command tail command uh, you know and uh, also your PS and EF command so all this command help you so what happens when you want to go for a ping test suppose there is a network issue you want to do a connection test so for the network we generally check from the host level you have you know you don't need to be specifically from the SID ADM it's actually not required you can also check from the root also so ensure that you are in the right host so for the first command which you use for the network test is ping so when you ping a host so ensure that if the server is reachable or not suppose I want to ping a host ping google.com example you can see unknown host because this is not part of my you know this is not configured in my system this connection is not allowed so what will I do here I'll just give ping this host name so you can see the host name is able to ping here from this application okay so similarly you can see how much what is the ping time and all so 3.03 ms is quite fast so you don't need to worry if you see you know higher ms like 100 ms or something like that then it's a matter of concern that you need to check alright also you can also perform the telnet this is the command that you can use telnet to check a IP or the port status so that will be also giving you an idea other than that we do have the command called trace route suppose you want to run this trace route so this will also 
give you the information that how many times the connectivity is being dropped so he pops you can detect here hops I mean you can see just let me show you here like google.com so here you will see so temporarily is, is failing so I'll just do the trace route with my host so you can see the information 30 hops max so you can see if these are you know working or not so if your trace route is also is not possible or uh, if your trace route is not working properly or you see there is a trace route but uh, you know the ping time is very high so in that case you need to take more action on those areas along with that suppose you are into a login to a host you don't know what is the SID ADM and which is the system ID which is the database ID so the simple thing you need to go use the command cat go to this location cat etc and the password location so this will give you the SID ADM or ISID you can see here this is my system administrator SID ADM user this is my or ISID user so this way you can identify if you don't know simply go to the cat etc folder there is a password file you can check from there if you want to see all the mount points which is configured in this host particularly you can also check the same thing from the cat etc and f -star. so this will give you what are the mount points are configured in this host and you can also validate those informations from the uh, this uh, f -star information so like this uh, these are the very basic information and whenever you log into the system okay so once you log into the system you always do the connectivity test and that is r3 trans hyphen d so ensure that your r3 trans hyphen d is connected so this way you can ensure your database to application connectivity so these are the primarily unix commands that everybody should know when you start as a basis consultant and rest of the commands you can learn with time period so not at once but yeah the primarily if you watch my first and second video so both the video will help you a lot for understanding the linux information so i hope this video is helpful to everyone and guys please subscribe my channel this is quite important okay and anyone is looking for training you can also browse the section and you can also see the training information so you can enroll to our training program for sap basis and hana if anyone willing to contribute as a you know hana or sap or basis content creator you can also connect with me at the rate you know on my email id biswa.ranjan at the rate odiengineer.com and thank you for watching guys and keep subscribing and uh, keep supporting us thank you so much